what's up guys welcome back to another episode of Honda how to I know some people are curious to see how much this build that uh, we're doing right now is kind of worth so I got my buddy Trent he's got a calculator and we're just gonna go step by step and we're gonna add up the total amount now this is his personal preference on how he wanted to build his motor but you guys can do little shortcuts here and there to try to kind of save money so and I'll try to pinpoint some places where you guys can save money. So let's get into this. Okay. So we'll start off with the block. We're using a stock crank. So that's no money. Okay. Then we are using um, Eagle H-beams. So that would be, uh, what would you say? Uh, I think that it was right around 400 bucks. 400 for Eagle H-beams. Okay, then we have JE Pistons. Those were about 680. Okay, and then we have, what else do we have? We have the cylinder support systems, did the block, how much was that, Trent? Was that like three or 400? Uh, I think it was 325. 325, okay, so we'll go 325. Okay, then um, the machine work for the block, um, the machine work and some, he, he measured some of the clearances. I didn't have, you know, I only have limited stuff to measure clearances. So the machine work, all that said and done was probably right around a thousand bucks. And then, um, <clears throat> ACL race bearings, those were, I think those were 90, 90 bucks. Okay, then we have a ACL race oil pump. Well, that was like a buck, 140, I think it was. Yeah, 140. So, and then just say like the gaskets. I don't know, the gaskets were pretty cheap. I think the whole gasket set was like 150. Okay, so this is what's into the block right now. Okay, 2905. Okay, now we'll get into the cylinder head. Okay, so we got a Brian Crower Stage 2 cam. That was 280, I think it was. 280. Okay. Then we have a full Supertech valve train, uh, valves, springs, and retainers. And um, that was, I think that was right around 600 bucks, wasn't it? Something like that? Uh, yeah. yeah, 600 bucks. Okay, so we got 600 bucks there. And then we got some machine work done on the head. That was... I can't remember how much that was. It was like a thousand bucks or something like that. Poured in, polished, all that good shit. <clears throat> and then we'll go over here. So here's the intake manifold. Uh, how much was your intake manifold? No, it wasn't that much, I don't think. I think it was like 380 or 400. Yeah. Well, the intake manifold was about 380, I think it was. We're not going to count the turbo kit because that's, that's not part of the motor, not part of it to make it run. Okay, so up here we got a Gates Racing blue timing belt. What was that, 120? 120 bucks. 120 bucks and it came no it was one 160 because it came with the cam gear um it's a vms racing cam gear um i think it was 160 160 bucks for the whole setup and then we have the skunk 2 alpha series uh 70 millimeter throttle body how much was that trent 130 130 yeah. okay and then I think this should be probably the same, like, you know, pretty much all that we're talking about for motor-wise were the injectors. These are Graham's 1150cc injectors. Those were, yeah, they were expensive. They were like six something, 650, something like that. 650 bucks. So that's pretty much everything to, like, complete the motor, um, distributor, whatever. Um, Oh yeah, ARP head studs, those were 130. Um, distributor, not worried about that. Um, 
I guess. Ring well, no, the rings the rings came with the pistons. Um, I'm trying to think if we're missing anything. I don't think we are. That's pretty much all the motor stuff. And everything else is your personal preference. I mean, okay, um, if you want to build something like this, I've seen it a million times. You don't necessarily have to do much to the cylinder head. I mean, if you want to, we did this because this, this motor is going to be able to rev really, really high. And that's the reason that he wanted to build the valve train. Because, I mean, Z6s, they redline at, I think that's like 72. We should be able to turn a little over 8, 8,000 RPMs with this motor. And that was our main goal. Kind of get up there with the B-series motors. And um, you don't necessarily have to do this for boost. Um, there's a lot of people that run stock heads and they work just fine. And uh, as far as like pistons and stuff, I mean, you can run stock sleeves so you could eliminate CSS or, you know, dart and sleeves, anything like that. That would save you quite a bit of money, but I'm just going to warn you right now, it's not going to be as strong. Um, for connecting rods, you could pr probably use whatever you want, I guess, personal preference. And then, um, as pistons go, if you want to go cheap and you're on a budget, I would highly recommend Viterra pistons. They're really, really good for the amount of money. I mean, they're not the best, but they're pretty good for what you pay for them. And other than that, I think that's about it that is into the motor. So, let's see the grand total here. 6105. Okay. <laughs> That's a shitload of money into a single cam, but worth it. It's totally worth it. But uh, oh, we weren't even. We didn't even count the. Let's put the clutch and stuff on there. We got a fl Fidanza flywheel. That was about four hundred. And then, then we got uh, a stage four competition clutch. Yep. How much was that thing? Quite a bit. Yeah, I think it was like four, four fifty. Everything was around four. Yeah, on average. Yeah, yeah, average was about four, except for like the valve train, the valve right. train, and the injectors. Yeah, the injectors thing. were probably the most expensive thing on this motor. So, the grand total with almost everything, with the clutch, all that stuff. I mean, motor. All the internals, all that good stuff, is right around seven grand. Um, like I said, you don't necessarily have to build it like this. There's a lot of ways you can shortcut and kind of get it by, but it's not going to necessarily be as high as horsepower. We're shooting for 400 horse on this motor, which I know it would probably be a little bit more capable of higher horsepower with like the built valve train and stuff like that. But we want to safe. I mean, if we if we make 350. You'd be satisfied with 350 horse. Easily. I mean, 350 horse, that's a good number. But we're trying to shoot for 400 horse. Um, 400 horse would be great. Anything above that would be awesome. It might not be a little, it might not be reliable above that, but hey, it is what it is. So that's the life of building a race car and spending all your money on car parts. <laughs> Which don't do that, by the way. Spend your money on bills and get everything paid off before you buy car parts. Well, <laughs> a little bit later like when we get this motor all pretty much put together and ready to go um, me and Trent will probably mock up a build sheet so we can get the exact amount this is just most of the basic stuff to get to get the engine to run I mean we're not adding in like piddly stuff like the map sensor and we're not even including you know um, what else I mean there's so much little stuff like our the computer, I mean Honda S three hundred. That's not including that. I mean it's just all piddly stuff. So when we when we get this thing rolling and we get it put in the car, the car we're not even adding money to the car. Trent picked this car up for really really cheap because it wasn't running. It was down a valve. If you guys follow me on Instagram, it's way back in the day. Um, you can go check out my Instagram. My Instagram is seductive underscore civic. And you can see the transformation of Trent's Civic. We call it the pumpkin. It's um, <laughs> It was owned by a young kid that had body kit and Lambo doors and 
all that cool stuff. Um, <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to restore it back to its actual glory. Um, it was it's in really good shape where we live. It's really really hard to find a Civic without rust, and that was the main reason Trent bought it because it doesn't it rare, it barely has any body damage and it has zero rust. So that was the reason he bought it. It's not because the car's orange because it just it looks like shit. It's horrible. It's <laughs> it's gonna be good. Trust us. <laughs> Anyways, um, for in further episodes we'll we'll kind of work up a build sheet. And hopefully put that up and see the exact amount that he spent. I'm thinking it's right around ten grand total yeah. for the motor and tranny and all that stuff. Um, and that's not even the car. The car is going to be wire tucked. It's going to have a rye wire harness, all that good stuff. I don't know if we're doing a brake booster delete, whatever. And bodywork, paint. I mean, this is going to be a freaking $20,000 car, which is just insane. I mean, that's a lot of freaking money for a 97 Honda Civic, but it's totally worth it. It's going to be awesome. Yes. So, well, <laughs> I hope you guys like this little episode that I put together. Uh, be sure to comment if you got any questions. Leave a like, and I hope to see you guys in the future. Peace.